Hello, everyone, and welcome to 2023. I am a month late. Nice. Hi, everybody. This is Wesley, the writer, and I am here to let you guys know that I am going to do what I said I'm, I was going to do, and I'm going to deliver on my promise. I'm going to start releasing, and I'm going to keep on a rolling, and I'm going to stop second-guessing myself because I'm not doing anything but holding myself up, trying to be Mr. Perfect. Even though I had went through an entire year of telling everybody, don't be perfect. You have to focus on getting your content out. I have been falling into the same pit that I have been preaching against. And that's not cool. So, without further ado, we will begin the week. I don't know if I'll be releasing this on the end of January or the beginning of February. We'll just see how it goes. Anyway, all right, that's enough rambling from me. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. Thanks, guys. Thank you for being patient. I appreciate it. <sighs> let's get started. We're going to go ahead and get started with the reading for this week. And I'm getting these messages from a member of the church she's dedicated to sending out scriptures every day <laughs> and I thought that was just so empowering uh, to be able to have someone who would deliver a message to you just having that like to be able to give little nuggets to you every day and that's what partially inspired me to do a um, a reading for the week and so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that every week so, yeah, without further ado. Romans 8, verses 5 through 8, from the New International Version. Those who live according to the flesh have their minds set on what the flesh desires. But those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their minds set on what the Spirit desires. The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. The mind governed by the flesh is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law, nor can it do so. Those who are in the realm of the flesh cannot please God. Lord, I come to you today saying thank you for all you've done. Lord, I thank you for your many blessings, and I give your name the praise. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we come to you today thanking you for your intervention, Lord. We thank you for touching the hearts and the minds of your people. And I pray that those who are listening to the sound of my voice are blessed by this prayer Lord, that their lives are enhanced and that they are able to go through their days, Lord, with you at the forefront. We thank you for your leadership and we thank you for your guidance. And Lord, we pray against anything that would come against us as we seek to serve you. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. 